In this lecture, I'm going to solve a few problems on digital filter. So this question came in gate 2009. A system with a transfer function h of z as impulse response h of n defined as h of 2 is equal to 1, h of 3 is equal to minus 1 and h of n is equal to 0 otherwise. So only two uh, finite intervals or finite time. So we got the values, right? That is h of 2 and h of 3. Now consider the following statements. S1 h of z is a low pass filter and h of z is an fir filter right so depending on this statement we have to choose the correct option that is only s2 is true both s1 and s2 are false both s1 and s2 are true and s2 is reason for s1 similarly both s1 and s2 are true but s2 is not a reason for s1 now we have to first identify the filter as well as is it a fir filter or ir filter the moment you see it's a finite sequence yes or no so only at the two intervals we are getting the values so if i draw i'll take here if i draw h of n so which is at the two and three we got the values at the two we get one and at three the given is minus one this is the n now what is this is a finite sequence or infinite sequence so it is a finite sequence so it is a an fir filter right so so we gave, so we can say that the statement 2 is correct right so depending on the impulse response we concluded that it is an fir filter right next one so is now we'll find the either is it, it is a low pass filter or high pass or band pass etc so h of n is equal to how to represent these two sequence or impulse so delta n minus 2 right so shifted version of the impulse minus see magnet root is minus so delta n minus 3 once we know this we can find easily the z transform the only shifting uh, operation is there so delta n means 1 and the shifting means we will get z power minus 2 minus z power minus 3 right now how to find the frequency response so we have to substitute z is equal to e power j omega right now what is this h of e power j omega is nothing but e power minus j 2 omega minus e power minus j 3 omega yes or no now what is the procedure substitute omega equal to 0 so what is the magnitude we will get e power j 0 e power minus 0 or e power 0 means 1 minus e power 0 1 so we get at omega equal to 0 it's a 0 so but actually now low pass filter he said it is a low pass filter but we are getting as so may equal to 0 means 0 so it is not a low pass filter anyway we will substitute may equal to pi what we will get mod of h of e power j pi is equal to e for minus j 2 pi minus e for minus j 3 pi so this is a 1 minus of minus 1 right so cos 2 pi is 1 cos 3 pi is minus 1 so this is a finite value which is 2 so if i draw the frequency response so it, should, it will be like this something at pi we are getting magnitude as 2 at 0 we are getting so it's a looking like high pass filter but what is said h of that is a low pass filter so it is wrong now in the options the only s2 is true yes or no so this is the correct option only s2 is true right so because s1 is false so this b c and d so the here s2 is also false so not correct option s1 and s2 are true so uh, c and d both s1 and s2 are true so not possible only s2 is true right so this is about this question previously we were getting questions like this so two statements are given so we need to find either both are correct or both are false or uh, this is the correct explanation of this one etc right so this is how to do this problem next one in gate 2016 we got one question the discrete form structure of an FIR filter is shown in the figure. So he mentioned it is an FIR filter. So this is the uh, block diagram is given. The filter can be used to approximate yeah, either low pass filter, band stop or band high pass or band pass. So we need to identify. Now once the block diagram is given, we know how to find the impulse uh, response or tra transfer function. So this will become X of Z and this is Y of Z. How to draw? see both are forward path see so this is a multiplier which is multiplying with x object and it is adding here 
and but x of z is going to one unit delay one more unit delay and a multiplier with five and negative sign so one unit delay means z inverse one more unit means z inverse so what is the y of z so i can write like this y of z is equal to z inverse z inverse five so z inverse two into or five right so which is a into minus one right so i'll take minus five z inverse two plus so it's simply five into x of z so five into x of z so this is also x of z now if i take y of z by x of z common so what is this it is 5 minus 5 into z inverse 2 so what is this it's nothing but h of z now how to find the the corresponding filter so simple h of e power j omega so 5 minus 5 into e for minus j 2 omega yes or no z power minus 2 so e power minus j 2 omega now omega equal to 0 so h of e power j 0 magnitude so 5 minus 5 see e power minus j 0 means it will be 1 so 5 minus 5 it is 0 next omega equal to pi so what is this h of e power j pi so 5 minus 5 into e power minus j 2 pi yes or no so what is 5 minus 5 see e power minus j 2 pi is 1 right so again it is getting 5 minus 5 0 so what is this it's looking like this yes or no this is 0 and this is at pi this is the omega this is mod of h of e power j omega what is this filter band pass filter so which one see the band pass filter is the correct option uh, next one more question so uh, anyway this uh, is already i discussed when we discussed the fir filter and band pass filter so this is a question given an lta system with the unit sample response h of n is equal to given like this and it is a which filter either low pass high pass band pass band reject or uh, band stop now how to uh, so i will go for the band pass so you try to do on your own that is find h of z then substitute z is equal to e power j omega then omega equal to 0 and omega equal to pi so you will get the as a band pass filter right so you do on your own now the thing is so far we have completed only two subjects that is networks and signal system but as uh, compared to our syllabus so this two will become only single subject right so so up to now we have completed only for 15 marks maximum right so maybe it may be equal to 15 marks right now uh, what i will do is for every one week right from now onwards i will upload different different types of questions from the networks as well as the signals system from different different test books and also i will try to upload the answers uh, after one day suppose if i uploaded uh, the questions maybe today so i will i will uh, maybe upload the answers uh, maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow right so first you try to do on your own right so then uh, you can match with my answers right so if you are having any doubt we can discuss but my uh, request to all of you is so not only the test book problems so try to do the previous you no know, competitive exam papers so it may be gate it may be ies it may be drdo it may be any any competitive exam the technicals right so from the only networks and signal systems remember you can ask uh, you know questions from the uh, uh, different subjects in whatsapp group but my request to you is so if you, and you, are, and you are solving the previous uh, questions it may be the competitive exam if you are finding difficulty solving those type of problems so suppose you solve 10 problems but in those 10 problems you are getting some two three problems difficult right so try to do is uh, what you call note down those problems and uh, make a soft copy then send it to my mail id that is winky.mannam at their gmail.com what i will do is i will collect maybe 10 questions from you or uh, no from the students i will make a video on those problems right so sometimes uh, i will give some uh, shortcuts to you know quickly uh, do those problems or uh, i may give different uh, solutions right uh, methods also if it is uh, i know that right otherwise so we have to go with the standard procedures so depending on my uh, experience so if i know these some shortcut methods i will go with that remember first we know that you should know the concept then only we, we can get the shortcuts right so it's not like so we know we we have to go through the blind tool no it's not a blind tool the experience will get some uh, no the shortcut methods right so that is my uh, intention that is you have to do you have to note down the problems and uh, try to um, mail me that is so 
it's not like every day you post a one question so collect up to 10 questions maybe more no problem i'll make video on those problems so it will be helpful for you as well as the other students right so that will be very good for all of us right if any uh, suppose if i do any mistake also so we can discuss and we can correct right that is about this one so try to do it re revision and be 100 percent sure on these two subjects right then we will go uh, anyway i started the digital electronics so i will uh, parallelly start the already started the electronic devices course so i will try to complete these two courses parallelly right maybe two days one subject then again two sub uh, two days one more subject right so i'm going uh, very slow because you now so it's a lot of uh, time taking while making these videos but i try to finish as early as possible all the subjects right